I don't think your husband really understands what you're going through. I've had it up to here. His daughters are lazy, irresponsible, and uncaring. I think you need to be firmer with him and put some measures in place. He must send his daughters out of your house or else you leave him and go back to America. Go back to America? I can't go back to America. I've left everything. I've sold my house, my car. How do you even think I would fit in again? And besides, love brought me to this country and I really want to fight for it. Look, Tara, it's difficult to divide a man from his daughters. They are blood. And remember, they remind him of his late wife. I have fought. I have fought and won the battle of having her pictures removed from everywhere in the house. I mean, initially, they looked at me like the evil woman. But finally, he agreed and removed her pictures. His kids? His kids didn't talk to me for like a week. You have always wanted kids. It's been one year. Are you guys planning on having any kids? Since he did stop you from working. Kids. He says I should allow him to settle in on the relationship. And besides, he's setting a company up for me. Okay. He's not getting any younger, you know. <sighs> I know, Tracy. I know. He's 20 years older than I am, but I love him. I mean, when we go out, people do think he's my dad. <laughs> but I love him and he loves me and that's all that matters. All right, okay. We'll see if that's all that matters. <laughs> what about you and that younger guy you were dating? What's his name again? Emeka. Oh, stop that. He looks older than me. Except when you ask him his real age. He's going on a job interview tomorrow. Job interview. Well, I hope you guys are planning to get married soon because time isn't on your side too, bitch. I see who's talking. Time ain't on your side either, bitch. <laughs> Whatever happened to that other guy from a few years ago? Kenny? Kenny. Kenny? Yes. What happened to him? I am pregnant. Tochi, are you listening to me? I just said I am pregnant. And who told you? What do you mean by who told me? Is this not another point from you to come and extort money from me in your purported name of abortion? Tochi, I don't want to abort this baby. What? Tochi, I don't want to abort your babies anymore. I don't. Don't abort it. I don't understand. I'm getting old and I need someone to, I need a child. I need someone to call me daddy. I need a I need someone to call me father. Tochi, Tochi, I have five siblings. Five siblings to take care of. My father cannot even keep a job. And you know my mom is remarried, yet I still send that money for her upkeep. Or is it from my 20,000 naira job as a waitress? You want me to squeeze out money for Auntie Nanta and still take care of this baby? Tochi, I need money for myself, my family and this baby. And of course, you know, as soon as I get heavy, I will quit this job. Told you, what do we do? I say, I don't know what to do. You know, I haven't worked in the past 10 months, and my brother that used to give me money since the death of his wife, everything is rough. I just don't know what to do. Tochi, 
So I don't blame your brother. After all, he bought you a bus. What did you do to the bus? You wrecked it. He even gave you an opportunity to become the caretaker of his properties. What did you do to the money you collected from the tenants? You squandered all the money. Tochi, your brother is the last person that we need to. Do you want me to remind me of this? Do you? I know my brother is the last person I could go for help. I think that child is a gift from God. Really? Yes. Sit down. I have a plan. A plan? Tell me about it. Tochi, why so early? There's trouble, Lord. So what's the problem this time? SS father. He's not just happy. But I thought I sent him money the last time he requested. What's the problem again? He said you married his daughter and dumped him and his grandson in the village. They're not doing anything. He's threatened to come here and tell your American wife, Tara. Tochi, this is blackmail. There's a problem, Moroko. There's a problem. What is it? Did you know uh, Isi? Okoko's daughter? Oh, oh that was stupid old drunk at Okoko. You don't want to have anything to do with that family. I, I hope you are not thinking of oh. Hey, it's not what you're thinking of. Uh, some time back, I don't know how it happened. Uncle that night. I woke up next to her, drunk. And she claimed that I raped her. No, her father is threatening to arrest me. Oh, child! To even make matters worse, Uncle. She claims she's pregnant. This is blackmail. I don't blame him. Why? Why don't you tell Tara about the village marriage? Tell her and take the bull by the horn. Marriage. Did you say marriage? You know, the good boy is not the man you want to mess around with. I'm sorry for bringing such shame to the family. What should we do? See ya, Bozzi. I think we should do just arrange one small traditional marriage. Eh? Then Essie will remain in the village. While you will be sending money for our upkeep from the city. So that way, Okoko's mind will calm down. It will just uh, make things easier. Marriage. Do you think that will work? Oh, yes, now, after all, Okoko will, will know to, will be angry that you have given me, you know, that illegitimate child. Because now, she will be a legitimate wife with your child. Eh? So, that will should be make him happy. Well? Hmm. I will be glad to have Look. This was a girl I had a fling with at the saddest point of my life. Told you my wife had just died. And all of a sudden, it was all about pregnancy.
Do you know her father threatened me with all sorts of things? Yes. And the man forced me to marry this girl. He even threatened to charge me with, with rape. Toji, it's been two years. Two years of extortion. Bro, we all know this. But given the mother of your son, money is not extortion. Dayo is your only young son. See, it's a very important thing to our family genealogy. Toji, I know he's my only son. But I'm not ready to sacrifice my marriage. Especially not with that gold digging mother of his. Don't tell him I'm around, please. Hello, sir. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. I'm working on it. No, you'll get something by this evening. Hopefully, this evening, yes. I'm fairly in yeah. No, no, sir. No, you, you don't. No, you don't need to come and embarrass my brother now. No, please. It's just that. Hello. Hello. He hung up. You see. You see. Because she gave birth to my son. You know they've turned me to family business. Ese has refused to get a job. The father is a gambler and a drunkard. And they are all depending on me. Well, I have to tell you this. It's Everything on me. Tochi, how did I get myself into all this rubbish? How? See, bro, your best bet is to tell her. Just tell her. See, you, you just don't need to keep thinking of what to do. It saves you. Do you know that lady has left everything in America to join me? How would I tell her such horrible rubbish? See, if she loves you, she'll, she'll understand everything. Good morning, girls. How's the night? Um, Anita, you get the carrot. Let me get the noodles. Abika, how are you doing? How you doing? Okay, um, let's just make it snappy. The pot. Good morning, baby. Hey, baby. I didn't want to disturb you, so I asked Abika to make breakfast for me. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm. I hope you're okay. Some disturbing news in the papers, that's all. Mm -hmm. Sorry mm. about that. Mm. Good morning. Abike, how far with the breakfast? I want to cook no juice, but the two, madam, they've taken the carrots, so... Why did you guys take the last carrots? It was meant for your dad. Huh? I'm talking to both of you. I bought those carrots for your dad. Point of correction, you bought those carrots with his money. He is my husband. He's our father. 
Your father? You guys don't even have any sense of responsibility. And you're just there like- Did I just hear you say responsibility? Good. Look, I know you're bent on making us look like the two bad ones in this house. It's one thing or the other. And no matter what you say or do in this house, it doesn't stop the fact that you are the visitor here. Yes. Me, visitor. Mm -hmm. huh. Haven't you heard two's company and three is a crowd? You two have overstayed your tenure in this house. It is time for you to pack your bags and leave me and my husband. Go out and find your own husband so you can do whatever you want. Just because you managed to set this our father at his loneliest period to marrying you doesn't give you the right to insult us in our house here. Do you understand? Insult you? You guys are an insult. What? You can't even manage to get your own husband. See you. Look at you. You're a shameless girl. You're a shame. Marrying a man that is nearly twice your age twice. because of money. Ah, wait, 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 wait. You probably think he will die early so you will inherit his property. Sorry, our property and run to America with a younger man. That's if you don't have a younger man waiting for this, you're going too much. You're calling me shameless. Little did you know, I ran my own law firm in New York City before coming to Nigeria. Okay. You can't even find husbands. You're so cheap. You can't even afford carrots. Simple carrots. You know what? In fact, take your carrots. You don't want them. Eat them all. Seriously? We cannot keep living like this. These girls are stressing me out and they're calling me a gold digger. It's because of you they're calling me names. Why can't we send them out? No, seriously, why can't we send them out? It's either me or them. Look, Tara, I promised the mom before she died I was going to kick them out on the streets. Baby, don't worry. Okay? I'm going to sort out everything. Hmm? It's okay. okay. I'm vacation. <laughs> Come to think of it, what about that beach house in the Bahamas that you love? <laughs> really? Yeah, do you want to go there? Yeah, when? Two weeks from now, I promise. Really? Mm -hmm. You promise? Yeah, two weeks. Oh, okay. I saw your brother leaving the house this morning. He looks stressed. I hope he's okay. Yes, he is. I hope he didn't come for more money. More money, how do you mean? Well, I saw text messages from your bank account to his. Look, we are refurbished in the family house in the village and uh, we needed some cash, that's all. Yeah. I just don't want anyone taking advantage of you. No, they won't. Tara, okay. I love you. Yeah. 
had him talking to his brother, and from the look of things, it's like they are collecting money from me, so they'll buy him. Are you serious? Me? That you will cheat to my garbage? Come, is it going? Yeah, my chef will do it. Yeah, my chef will do it. My chef will do it. My chef will do it. Ah, it's not only that one. That your your child is smoking, so. Your your child. Is she your your child? Yeah. That man came over down there, too. He's smoking. Huh? You know, a long man, you know, no. Hey, who got it? You know, she forgot it. Well, what you have been from the American Huh? I don't want to have a No, you have to tell her. I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to have a You have to tell her. But you have to tell her how nice this woman is. Hey, imagine she can give you money to make you You have to tell her. You have to tell her you want to get it on that small lamp, but I never come on. No, 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 so you want to abuse me now, Abby? You want to abuse me, me, Roxy? No boy. I'm not going to be able to take your love back. Oh, she's all the way. She won't say love. Just because I come in, Abby. Okay. I love you. I just want to go to the market. There's no still, there's nothing. After my, after I finish washing clothes. So I manage. No problem. It's not said that I'm bought. I manage it. So there is chicken to... Right? Chicken. Oh, I can play it. I know, Tracy, I know. He's 20 years older than I am, but I love him. I mean, when we go out, people do think he's my dad. <laughs> But I love him, and he loves me, and that's all that matters. All right. Okay. We'll see if that's all that matters. Hey, honey, I'm back. And guess what? I got you a present. Doze, are you cheating on me? What are you talking about? I asked you a question. Are you cheating on me? Who is Ese? Who told you about her? It doesn't matter. You need to come clean. Who is Ese? Three years ago, I had a fling with her. I was forced to do a traditional wedding. She is your wife? Look, Tara, I was forced to marry her or else her father would charge me with rape. Charge with rape? Tell me the truth, you lying chief. Did you rape that girl? Tara, I was drunk. All I could remember was waking up the next morning to a crying girl with torn clothes. Please believe me, Tara. A week after, she told me she was pregnant. Was a baby free? Yes, Tara, a boy. Why have you kept this secret? You could have told me years ago, even when we were dating. 
I've done everything for you. I've given up everything for you. And you kept the secret from me for years. I don't even know who you are anymore. What are you doing, Tara? I'm leaving you. I can't be in a marriage that's based on a lie. And for crying out loud, you're someone else's husband. Look, I was forced to marry her, Tara. I was forced or else I'll go to jail. Yeah, that's where you belong. You're a rapist. Look, Tara, you've known me all these years. Do I look like a rapist to you? I don't even know who you are anymore. I'll send for the rest of my things and my divorce papers. Look, Tara, I think I've been blackmailed. I killed my hopes and my dreams. I gave up everything for you. And now you're, you're married? With a child and faced with rape allegations? If you were so innocent, why didn't you fight back? I didn't want to lose you and go to jail. Believe me, Tara, I won't do anything to hurt you. Dozy, it's over between me and you. What happened, Tara? I've done everything. I gave up my whole life. What's going on, Tara? Just, just... Dozie is married. To you, he is. No, to someone else. Before he met me. Yeah, he lost his wife, as in he was married before he met you. What are you really saying? Not his late wife. He raped a girl, married her, has a son, all before he met me. Are you sure? Yes, Tracy, I'm sure. How did you find out? The maid, she overheard him telling his brother that he needs to send money to the girl and, well, his wife and her, his son. I feel like such a fool, such a fool. Have you confronted him? Yeah, and he admitted to it. When was this? This evening. It's gonna be okay. Where do I even start? Where do I begin? I gave up everything. You mentioned rape. He raped the girl and then, according to him, they blackmailed him into marrying her. Who are they? The girl and her father. Did he admit raping her? Because he doesn't remember that he was drunk. A drink. I'm sorry. I'll get you one, okay? He says he can't remember raping her. He says he can't remember that he was drunk and he woke up to a girl with torn clothes. Dozy doesn't seem like that type of guy. Or maybe 
It was sorrow that led him to drive him to do something like that? Or maybe he just did a good job of covering it up. I mean, I left everything in America. I feel so stupid. He has a son? Yes, he has a son. A case like this came up in my third year law project. Middle-aged, confident man, and a helpless girl. Oh yeah, McPherson and Duncan. It was all over the papers in Texas. A devoted family man who allegedly raped his staff. His wife and kids left him during the trial. The night before his judgment, he hung himself. Wow. What was the judgment? Not guilty. What are you saying, Tracy? I'm saying, are you sure he wasn't truly black man? What do you mean? Nikki Lodino. Christopher Ferguson. Lena Dunhart. These are all false rape charges, and it broke the families of the accused. And it brought up many questions about how rape allegations and child paternity should be addressed. What are you saying, Tracy? You are a lawyer, Tyra. Every man is innocent until proven guilty. I don't know, Tracy. This is... It's too deep and too close to home. And what if he's guilty? That means a lot of years in prison. Remember, you said love brought me to this country and I'm ready to fight for it. Prove it. Fight for it. What if it is his son? We need to do a DNA test. Check the blood type first. I don't know, like, I just don't understand why he didn't tell me. He could have told me all of this years ago. Maybe he was afraid of losing you. Or maybe he was just covering up something evil. There's only one way to find out. Put the pieces together and get to the truth. The truth? What if the truth is that he raped that girl and that's really his son. I hope you had a good time here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Whoa, my brother. Thanks for the meal. Oh, well, I bet you're missing Sister Tara's cooking big time. I really miss her. When are you expecting her back from vacation? Ah, I don't know, but I hope soon. Mm, it's not good for a man to be alone, no. <laughs> Especially in those um, rooms upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Reverend Desmond, uh, it's not good at all. Um, hope you're okay, my brother. Well, just been overwhelmed with some business. Uh, that's all. Oh. That reminds me, uh, this is my little contribution to the building fund. There you are, sir. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. This check of 20 million will be good enough to start the building project. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, don't mention it, Reverend. We thank God. That's a little I can do. Um, you know we have been friends for say 10 years now yeah i guess you can confide in me what is the problem why are you feeling so confused is it about um, your late wife i'll be honest with you reverend i miss her at times i do oh is it marital issues hmm yes yes marital issues ah. These are things that we go through, uh, trials, 
And um, why should it be marital issues? You can confide in me. You know I am a man of God. And whatever you say here will not leave these four walls of this house. But you can confide in me. Go ahead and speak. You didn't even thank me for the money yesterday. Or didn't you get the alert of the money I sent you yesterday? It was 5,000 naira. But that money is not enough for your son and my family. But don't you, this, this is not the plan now. Yes, but you know I've been putting pressure on my brother to, to tell his wife about the affair. So that she can go. And if she leaves her hey. Who could have more money to enjoy? But it's obvious you're enjoying the money you know right now. With all this little little change you're sending to me, you're keeping the big amount to yourself, don't you? What did you say? I paid 5,000 naira for boss. I dropped 10,000 naira for your son and my siblings. And you know my father could have spent half of the money to go and play pool and probably drink alcohol. The only money left with me is just 10,000 naira that I have to take back to the village. My younger brother's exam fee is 4,500 naira. Not to talk about my mother's hospital fee. 7,500 naira. My mother has been begging me for this money since last month to go and take care of her diabetes. Tochi, that money is not enough. I thought I told you everything yesterday evening now. I told you I needed 80,000 naira. Stop that, I beg. I cannot take the responsibility of your family. See, it's only you and my son that I'm, I, I'm interested in. Let your siblings go and learn trade or something. And what about my mother? Let her new husband take care of her. Don't you, I cannot allow my mother to die now. After all, this money is safe. It's not for you alone, no. So everybody. Wait. So, my brother is now Father Christmas. By the time I score with your son, that is when your eye will come. Are you threatening me? Wait. Are you threatening me? Okay, Reverend. I'm a deacon in your church. Yes. I'm expected to have my home intact. Of course. What? What happens if, if my wife leaves me? Leave you? Why will she leave you? Why will your wife leave you? Um, Reverend, how do I say this? How do I say this? Well, you see, three years ago, before I got married to Tara, I, um... I had a fling with a lady who claimed that I raped her. And um, it was a terrible experience. I woke up next to a crying girl with torn clothes. And um, the father was so enraged with anger. And the lady herself also claimed that I raped her. <laughs> Horrible experience. A week after, she called me and said she was pregnant. So, I have a son due to that affair. But I won't call it an affair, I'll call it a fling. And to make matters worse, I actually married her. We did a small traditional wedding. We didn't want people to know about it. I was forced into it. I'll be honest with you, Reverend. I feel so sad about this whole issue. I feel so sad about it. What's all this? And you call yourself a dickhead? I thought you said I could pour out my pour heart. Pour out what? Did you hear everything you just said? Oh, you're the reason why God has not been moving in our midst. Rape. <laughs> Rape. Can you imagine? Reverend, you're embarrassing me. You're making me feel bad for telling you all this. You have no respect for my emotions. 
respect you talk about respect you have no respect for the church you knew all this and yet you took up such a position of authority and influence what are you talking about look reverend people make mistakes i'm not proud of what i did you are not fit to be a deacon anymore in fact you deceived us all into thinking that you are astute in character rape rape you need psychiatric help god help this little girl and her family in these trying times why wouldn't they blackmail you after what you put them through why look reverend i never told you i was perfect no one's hands are clean do you tell us how you spend our money? All you do is, is ask us to give and we give. Thinking that we're doing God a favor. Not realizing that you are a man, man building his own empire. Tochi, I suspect you are another girl you're giving all your money to in this Lagos. After all I've suffered for you, it's only 25,000 naira you could give me. Tochi, do you want to tell the old villagers what you did to your brother? You that was married before you married my brother. See, if the villagers know that you were married to somebody from Omaha, they will stone you and send you out of this village. No sense. Look at you, Tochi. You, you that said use me with your juju powers so that I can leave my husband's house. Don't worry. Yes. In the whole village, they will lose you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You that, that, that came to marry my brother because of his wealth. You had his wife die and you thought it would be easy for you to have a fling with me so that you can come in. It's me, oh. You're calling me a slut. Don't you worry, your eye will clear soon. My eye clear. It will clear very soon. Let me tell you something, eh? You cannot blackmail me. And if you try it, you know what? Let me just even follow you to the village and take my son. And when I leave you people, you will go back to your wretched life and let's see how it's going to be with you. Nonsense. Don't try it. You can take your check for all I care. I will not be bought with money. I will not allow the church leadership to be bought with money. I will make sure I tell everybody about what you have told me. Why would you embarrass me and my daughters in front of the congregation? All because I trusted you. I'm disappointed in you. You are not a man of God. You are suspended as a deacon and I do not want to see you any longer seated at the realm of leadership I quit look reverend You're calling me a slut. This is the last time you will get from me. And all these insults will end. Mm -hmm. You know what, thing? When hunger, I eh, will catch you. I know you will come back. In fact, I'm even going to, 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 to teach the village to take my son. And you shouldn't even be seen without you. You said that of yours. I will tell you, it's your son. Remember when your wife was detained for defrauding the bank. I had to bail her out because my name was on the guarantor's list and I had to sell two of my cars and I was managing one because I didn't want your wife to stay in jail. No one, no one in church knew about this. So because you helped my wife, I should allow for all your shady character in my church? No. Let me tell you something. I can collect anyone's money, but if it has to do with church leadership, I will not mess around with it. No way. 
I don't trust you anymore. I will see myself out. I wasn't planning to. God have mercy on you and your family. Age, you know you are impotent now. That is why at your age you're still not married. Don't abort it. I don't understand. I'm getting old and I need someone to, I need a child, I need someone to call me daddy. I need a, I need someone to call me father. My son, your son. Come and collect son now. Dochi, this time around I'm out for you. I'm going to expose you and tell the old villagers about you. Don't worry. You know my brother just lost his wife and he's mourning and you know they need some female company to like clean their head on to dry their tears. You know? What if you allow them? So can you listen to yourself talk? You actually want you to sleep with No! You. Come on, no! See, I will introduce you to. Okay? You being the kind of person you are beautiful lady, you, you seduce him. Get him drunk. Then you can find a way to, to lie beside him and you can even tear your clothes. Make it make it look as if something happened and when he wakes up, tell him he raped you. Yes. Then what you now do is tell him the kind of person your father is, that your father will press charges. And knowing who my brother is, he will not want trouble. He would do anything to, to, to get himself out of trouble. He would even arrange maybe a, a, a traditional wedding. And when that happens, <laughs> the money keeps coming in, baby. You have enough money for yourself, for your baby, for your family, and I have for myself. <laughs> we all smile to the bank. that the check bounced. When did you present it? Oh, oh, yesterday. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me, I must have made a mistake on the date. Yeah. Hey, 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 wait. Don't shove it down my throat. I have two million naira balance. Just go 12 noon tomorrow. Yeah, everything will be sorted out. Ah, is this the first time I'm doing business with you? The party is in an hour's time. And... Um, yes, I'll be waiting. Yeah. Darling. <laughs> and... Where's the check? You won't even allow somebody to come into his own house. All you know is money, 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 money. What is all this? And where might you be going this evening? What do you mean by that? You told me you were supposed to collect Dozzy's contribution. Uh, yes. And as a good wife, I was praying for, this, for a successful outing. And now you're back. I'm asking you how it went. And you're accusing me of gold digging? Who called you a gold digger? Who called you a gold digger? N n not exactly, but... No, 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 just wait. Did I call you a gold digger? Answer my question. Yes 
Or no? See. Desmond, I'm not in the mood to argue with you this evening. You have not answered my second question, do you know? Where are you going this evening? A friend of mine has a fashion show at an Emerald Hotel. And I'm going there to Your me. friend. And you're just letting me know now? And who might your friend be? Who is the friend? Rosaline. Rosaline? The same person that left one of my pastors? She literally destroyed the man's ministry. Ah, such a wonderful teacher he was. I have told you not to be associated with such a woman. And you don't want to listen to me. You can't! You can't judge someone until you hear the other side of the story. Do you even know what he did to her? What? Just put that aside. Babes. We have to go out, meet people, mingle. See. I'm late for the event. I've answered all your questions, but the only one I asked, you didn't answer it. What might that be? Hmm. How much did he give you? Nothing. He gave nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Are you not supposed to collect a check from Dozzy? Yes, he did, but he gave us nothing. Um, we got into a, a, a fight and um, he told the check. What? Desmond, why will you have a fight with him? Hmm? Why? Desmond. Why will you fight him? Why? Eh? Look, I, I, I do not want to discuss this any further. Please. How long? How long will you continue with your stubbornness and unfruitfulness? Unfruitful? Yes. What do you mean by that? Ah. Your mates, they own cathedrals. They own properties and they're extremely affluent. And you? <laughs> you go around driving up people and pastors and ministers that contributed immensely to your ministry. Now tell me, eh? Tell me where will this stubbornness lead you to? Do you know what? I am tired. Look, Julia, I have told you I will not compromise my principles for affluence or anything. Not for anybody, not even for you! I'm tired of this marriage. I'm tired of everything. What do you want from me? Eh? Because of you, I, I let my rich parents advice because I fell in love with a broke... Hey, 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 stop all that. Stop all that. Is it only you that have rich parents? Please, 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 please. Stop all that. I had to come to you because you are getting old. Ah. That's why I came to you. Ah. Me? Desmond? Getting old? Yeah. You're good for nothing, man, that nobody will even use 10 feet tall to touch you. You promised to four girls from this church, and they all said no. You were eyeing my parents' money. But you did not realize that they were going to disown me after leaving a good job to pursue church. You have always been materialistic, Juliana. You have never loved me or what I do. How could you tell me such hurtful things? I want a divorce. I never knew you hated me this much today. I do not hate you. I just want to live 
a fulfilled life, a happy life. Not watching over my shoulders. You know that will ruin me and the ministry. Work of so many years will go down the drain. The kids will live with this scar. At least it's better than the quarrels and wrangling. Desmond, I care about my children and I would not want them to get hurt. Can we make this work? I just want to live a fulfilled life. Not, not the struggle that we're in right now. What do you want me to do now? I want you to go back to Dossie and collect the check. What? Go back to Dozzy and collect the check. Go back to Dozzy mm -hmm. and get the check? No. No way. I'm not going back. I can't go back to him. You are a pastor's wife. I respect that position. Uh, do you care for a drink? Um, no, please. I would try as much as possible to be brief so you could get back to your family. Um, by the way, how is Madam? Is she back? Madam is fine. I'm not sure when she's coming back. Um, I'm not really sure. Are you not sure? Um, she has um, mortgage issues to deal with. So it might take a while. Mm. So, how are you coping? Good question. Well, we talk over the phone on a regular basis, and um, of course, there's Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, send my greetings to our next call. Okay, I will. So, um, I heard you and my husband were in a bit of a fight, a quarrel. Uh, it's nothing serious. A bit of a private issue. Did he tell you anything? No, no, no. No, he didn't actually. Um, you were supposed to give him a check. Uh, yes. So, um, what happened to it? Why do you ask these questions? No, nothing. See, the truth is, this is beyond your misunderstandings, okay? When it comes to God's work, it has to be fulfilled. Okay? And I believe that since you had already decided to help the ministry, that you should continue. You might not understand the bigger picture, but I'm leaving the church. Leaving the church, it's not that bad now. He told me to come and apologize on his behalf. That is why I am here. My mind is made up. See, Dozi, the both of you are friends. And whatever misunderstanding you're having, I'm very sure you could amend it amicably. I don't play with the issue of trust. You don't... You don't understand what's going on. How do you mean? Tose, this is about life and death. 
life and death? Yes! What's going on? I've been diagnosed of cancer and I need the money for my treatment. If, if I don't, I will die. What? Cancer? Yes. Reverend didn't mention it to me at all. Maybe he didn't want to raise an alarm. But you know, he's a very, very private person. Does he, I promise you, if you give me the cash, I'll give some part to the ministry and then I'll use the rest to take care of myself. Ministry? No, no. Um, why don't you send me your bill and I'll pay for it? Um, Dozie, why don't you give me the cash? Look, I prefer to settle the bills. My personal decision, I hope you don't mind. You don't trust me. You know that. I've always liked you before my husband. Mm? Do it for me. Do it for old time's sake. Look. I made a decision to end the relationship because of my principles. Huh. Principles, principles, principles. That's what I've been hearing all day. You know what? You two are alike. I mean, you stick to your principles. <sighs> oh no, Dossi. You've helped me with fraud before. For all time's sake, help me with this one. I did it because I didn't want you to go to jail. Okay? So why why can't you help me with this one now? Hmm? Okay. Look, I'll help you, right? But and I promise to show you my appreciation in a commendable way. Look. Something tells me this is not about sickness. You need the money to feed your appetite of so what i want to live in a better place so what so what i want to travel first class so what haven't i tolerated enough frustration and humiliation that money is meant to take our lives to the next level and you're keeping it away from us you're keeping it away from me does it look at me now look Oh, I can't do this. I've made too many mistakes in my life and I have to make peace with God. Please leave my house. I should leave your house. Now! Jesse, please give me this money. If you do not give me this money, I am going to accuse you of sexually harassing me and you don't want my husband to hear that. You see that over there? That has recorded everything that happened in this place. And if you try any accusations against me, I'm gonna send that video to your husband and the whole world will get to know about how you defrauded the bank. You're a wicked and mean man.
leave my house. I should leave your house. No! Jesse. Oh, the show. Oh, we had a lot of guests there. Wow. Oh, it was lovely. It was so lovely. Oh, darling, I wish you were there. Oh, then the dresses. Ah, oh, I mean, it was so nice. <laughs> oh, I'm so I missed. Of course, you missed them. That's really nice. I'm I'm very happy you enjoyed yourself. I did. I just oh. wish you were there. I was just alone, you know. I couldn't really talk to people, you know. It's just That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sort it out, or else. Can we call you back, please? Tara, you're back. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I've been trying your line, but it's not going through. I know. I mean, love brought me to this country, and I really want to fight for it. I want to know that I've given my all. Look, Tara, I'm sorry about everything. I'm really sorry. Okay? And I'm going to sort it out, I promise. Where are your things? I think I would bring them in. Okay. But I need to ask you a question. Really, what's that? Have you done a DNA test for that child? No, I didn't. Why do you ask? Well, we need to know. We need to know if that's your child. You know what, I'm going to call the hospital where he was born and ask them to send me um, the results of his blood type. Okay? That's okay. But one other thing. That essay? We need to know who she really is. It's time that we do a background check on her. That's not a problem. Tochi, my brother, introduced me to her. Tochi introduced you to her? Enough of collecting peanuts from your brother. I am here to take what rightfully belongs to me as your wife. Sue, leave her. Sit down, Essay. I'm not sitting down until you leave here. You mentioned your rightful place. Your rightful place in this house is there. See this American girl. See, not try me. Oh, oh no, she like you. See, I'll be street girl. If you try me, I'll go finish you. I am here as his wife. You're the one that's supposed to be in the dustbin, okay? You were never really married to my husband. Who said that? Essay. We did some background checks on you. And the results were shocking. You had been married to one Udo Akunobi. In fact, you are stupid enough to leave your wedding photos on Facebook. I am his wife by law. Your arranged marriage is nullified. Oh yes, we spoke to him. He ran away because he got tired of taking care of you and your siblings. The guy went to Europe to look for greener pastures. Six months ago, he was deported back to Lagos. And do you know what? He's ready to testify that he's still legally married to you in any court of law. You have a bigamy case to answer. But you raped me, remember? Take me to court, Ese. I'm ready to fight the battle to prove my innocence. And what about his son? 
You want to deny that? We are ready to take care of the child if it's truly my husband's. Yes, we are, Issei. Yes. Instead of using him as a means to blackmail me. Blackmail you? Don't worry. We'll soon get to find out who the real blackmailer is. What is that supposed to mean? Who is the real blackmailer? The real blackmailer is... Hospital with the results of the blood type. Hello? Um, this is Dozia Marachi. What's the result of the blood type? Left to be with. 
to me in this godforsaken BQ. I have my family. And the things that I will forgive me. He was always the most favorite child in our family. That is why they sent him to study abroad. Why I was sent to learn a trade, which they still use their witchcraft to destroy. We shall see. I got tired of collecting peanuts for me when I can as well be the woman of the house. Enjoy all the money. No, 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 no. I say, no. I say, you should have waited for me. For me to tell you when to go. Hi, is Auntie Germano, your wife, Uncle. Why are you asking for my wife? So that you will know it is time for you to start taking responsibility. Responsibility? How? What, what do you mean? Why are you sounding like this? Why are you sounding as if you don't know the child is yours? Anyways, my father and his dogs are bringing my loot to your house now. 